How did your high school crush turn out as an adult? Began acting. It s weird every so often I'll and see a commercial or something and be like oh. Hey. I know them. My crush is an incredibly sweet person. So I am glad. I remember walking up to her and asking if we could talk in private. And she said you can say what you need in front of everyone her group of friends were all around. So I asked if she wanted to go on a date. She burst out laughing and said yeah. Um no. Shit was rough. Man. Looked her up last year and she is a cage fighter now. What? I guess she has always been a pro at hurting people for others entertainment. Mine was my best friend. She turned out to be a pedophile. She always liked younger guys. Like when she was 17 she had a 13 year old boyfriend which was weird. But we were kids and I didn't think about it much. Turns out she continued to like younger teens as she grew into her 20s and 30s. Whoa. He's always posting average photos on Facebook with douchey artsy captions that make me cringe with his name water stamped on. Oh god. I get what you mean. Does he also tend to post overused inspirational quotes as well? I was a freshman and had a crush on a senior. To add to it, she was a cheerleader and her brother played QB for the football team and got a college scholarship. She showed up at a football game a couple of years later with a baby in tow. She has married now and back in her hometown. That s about all I know. I thought you were going to say the brother had something to do with that baby. He does. He uncled the baby. Uncled the shit out of that baby. My only gf in high school was my crush. Her mom banned her from dating me after about a year because my gf admitted to her mom that we were fooling around. This was about 20 years ago. She is still living with her mom. No kids. And as far as I know never again dated seriously after her mom broke us up. Still has the same job from high school too. It s like her mom went way into protective overdrive and my former gf never grew up. Duck. Yeah it sucks. Even 20 years later. Married with wife and kids I still think about her on occasion. Weird how a first love keeps. Popping into your head. They all steal a little real estate in your heart. It s just that you re happier to find some of them there than others. He is an attractive gay man. I'm none of those things. Same with my crush. He was my first serious crush and my first slow dance at a middle school dance. Now he is gay. Attractive. Was in the military. And now in a photography studio. He does some great headshots. Military headshots or photography headshots. Did I just ruin your joke by explaining it? Became a professional cheerleader. Died of breast cancer at 34. Googling names from high school is crazy. Edit to app thanks for all the support reddit family. I am also surprised how many on here know her. And in a way, makes me feel better that such a beautiful girl did make an impact on people's hearts. And assured me she is not forgotten. My crush became an NFL cheerleader. Still alive though. And. No. We never dated. And she didn't he remember me at the class reunion. Nothing personal. Mate. High amount of concussions in that sport. You made me check, and she is actually a very successful artist and an art teacher at a renowned university in France. She even got decorated for her work. Dang this award in France is kind of a big deal when you re an artist. Probably even a big deal if you wear and tea. No non artists get it all the time. It s just a lot harder for artists to get it. She ended up getting knocked up by a freshman shortly after we graduated. A college freshman or a high school freshman. High school. Yikes. She is still hot. Successful and wealthy entrepreneur. And married someone with the same first name as me. And who quit his job to brew beer. I crushed on her for a bit. Didn't he think she was interested. So I dated others. Then come to find out she crushed on me senior year. I was too dumb and blind. We connected freshman year of college. She wrote me letters. And by the time I wised up she had moved on. No one to blame but myself. What if. You built a time machine. And went back in time. Then changed your last name. Then I am a lucky man having the two lives I am currently living. I'd be lying. If I didn't he. For a second. After I found out. Think HMN. Guess if she cold and he have me, she settled for another version of me, because of the name. Additionally, they are a mixed race couple, and he is the same race I am. So, again, maybe it s me, if time travel is a thing. 
biologically altering yourself like that won't he be too far out of the question I guess. D ended up committing suicide a few years after high school. She was a teacher and got caught having an affair with a female student. Well this is dark. I don't know about you guys, but I had way too many crushes in high school. Lol yeah I read the post title and thought ah, which one? Well I SNT it obvious. The one that got away. So ah uh, yeah. All of them then. I briefly worked with mine, and didn't he realize it was her, until I left for another job. She looked almost unrecognizable. But it was 15 years, after I last saw her. She s married with a couple of kids now. So pretty standard life I guess. One of them is homeless and a druggie. It s very sad. The other one is famous in his home country, is a best selling author, and is regularly on TV. Don't he have a crush on him anymore. But I am glad we are still friends. And I am happy for how well he s done. I guess they balance one another out. I met her in 1987. We got married 5 years ago. We used to go to the same punk shows. That s where we met. You fell in love with the girl at the rock show. Did she say what? He told her that he didn't he know. Making me wonder what I ever saw in them. I concur. My first high school crush who sat next to me in freshman year English was a really cute punk rock girl and she has gone on to become an incredibly hot fitness model. Jackie was a rich punk rocker a silver spoon on a paper plate. An insanely talented molecular biology researcher at Boston. And she is still insanely attractive. Edit it looks like a lot of people feel like they know this same person. It is crazy how many molecular biologists people know. Considering Boston is a hub for life sciences, and that most researchers in the field start out with MolBio. Saying. Molecular biology researcher at Boston is essentially the same as programmer in Bay Area. I was about to say the same. Like I grew up in MA and I know. Dozens of moloc biologists in Boston lol. The number of startup pharma companies out there is insane. Back when I was younger and crushing hard I got on AOL Instant Messenger and had gotten my crush's screen name from a friend. I worked up the nerve to start a conversation with him and soon after some awkward small talk he sent me a message in Comic Sans. Black background. Red lettering. And in French. I then went to Google for translation and found out he had just called me a pig. In French. Being a seemingly awkward and chubby teenager, I was literally crushed. The heartbreak was only made worse by remembering that a few weeks prior I had selected to take French class the next year and cold and he change it. Years later now that I've it blossomed he follows me on every social media platform. Has reached out a couple of times to try and flirt hang out. Hard pass. I believe he has moved away and is a teacher now. Ah. Then now you want me because I am hot attempt. I had a lady try that post college. Maybe had she not been so mean about turning me down when I asked her out before, I would have considered it. In German we have an idiot idiom the tone makes the music means the way you treating other people and behave will change their attitude toward you. If you behave shitty, people will remember and treat you likewise. Dead by 32. Drugs. I am only 8 years out of HS and with a class of 90, over 10 are dead because of alcohol and drugs. There must be something in the water. Edit to make it worse. We were the only school for a county the size of Maryland. By the time we graduated, half a dozen died. More just kept dying. More than 10, if you count freak accidents. We really try to die lol. Class size of 90 with only one school in an area as large as Maryland. So you live way out in the middle of nowhere. A. Eh? My graduating class had nearly 2. 0, 0, 0 people. Listening to all those names sucked. Makes sense for other reasons too. Rural areas can have terrible meth problems or similar. Went on to be a teenage model for hair products. Graduated from Yale. Toured Europe. Opened her own successful ceramics company that is sold worldwide and is often written up in magazines. Makes me feel like shit every time I think of her. Was it really a crush? If it doesn't make you feel like shit. Well if you crush, turned out to be a terrible person you could comfort yourself by saying that you dodged a bullet there. Is it really dodging a bullet when you weren't in the line of fire to begin with? 
hot douche who doesn't he really do much, except go to the gym. To be fair. That's how he was in high school. I just liked it back then. If you always wanted to date Chip Matthews from high school, you re going to end up on a date with Chip Matthews from high school. So long as he still drives the chipper, I cold not care less. He still works at the multiplex. He can get you free posters. For your room. Going to an all boys school sucks for having realistic crushes. However, ran into one of the teachers years later, and she still looked bellissima. I went to an all girls school. Crushes were desperate and far between. That s not what the educational films on the internet tell me. Literally any male that entered the grounds was prey. They had so much training for the male staff. Even the ugliest men were targets of attraction or just pity flirting. So dangerous to work in a girls school. Found her on Tinder. She said I was hot. Pointed out that I was that loser she used to know in high school. Had a big laugh. Been a little over a year. Now we send each other memes and hang out occasionally when the pandemic isn't being a bitch. So you re saying there is a chance. Only if you roll a 20. Well you rolled a natural one so. They both ended up as great guys. One has a huge family and is a minister. The other only has one child and is a college professor. Both married nice people and are happy. They were really good guys in high school and ended up being really good adults. I've got both of them on Facebook, and we keep in touch peripherally as we stayed friends over the years. Reading this I was thinking who you have a crush on probably says a lot about who you are as a person. Never thought about that. I've always knew that about if someone dates toxic guys or girls or whatever, but didn't he think about if your crush was a good person lol. Yeah. I've never thought about this in a positive sense, but I'm happy to now. It probably also says a good deal about their parents, or whoever raised them. Basically who they had as role models and what sort of relationships they witnessed while growing up. Haha. <laughs> My husband. Our first marriages didn't he work out, and we reconnected after our divorces. If only I would have confessed I had a crush on him in high school. Might have saved myself a lot of trouble. Lol. Sometimes we need the painful experiences to become the people we are today. That time apart is what makes us who we are, and what we love about the other person. Love is about timing too. And you guys reconnected at the perfect time. Amen to that. The pain sucks, but sometimes makes you a better person. My English teacher still looks fine as duck. Mine was ancient back in 1985. If she is still around now, she must be a vampire. God bless you Mrs. Cunningham. You put up with me, tried your best, and I still turned out shit. Mine was only about 4 years older than me, and dropped out halfway during university. I had several. One of them is still a close friend. And he became a primary care doctor. He also officiated my wedding. I have no idea what happened to another one. We didn't he really have overlapping friend groups and she doesn't he do social media. One of them is a math professor now. So that s pretty cool. My biggest crush in high school was my longtime neighbor. But it also fizzled out pretty quickly after we went to homecoming together. We re still good friends. And our families still keep in touch. He is also the guy who introduced me to my husband. My friend's high school crush was Tom Holland. Like they went to the same school. Wow I can't believe you re friends with Mary Jane. Or is Alan. Or Gwen Stacy. Has doing good for himself. He has grown emotionally, has a seemingly healthy relationship with a longtime girlfriend, and is working healthfully on all his career and personal goals. I hope that if someone ever had a crush on me this would be their description of my current status ha <laughs> ha Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.